idea what we're gonna be doing today, but I have two choices. If stay home, not do anything, or go out there and get involved in some shenanigans. Let's do that right now. This only happens to me. I decided to come to Old San Juan just to enjoy the day, and it started to rain. It makes me laugh every time somebody sees, sees me with the camera. They have no idea what I'm doing, but they want to be in the video, even though they don't know nothing of what I do. So I came to Starbucks over here in Old San Juan. I'm Neri. She's also a vlogger, so I'm going to link her um, vlog on the description below. Make sure you go and follow her. Gracias. Nice to meet you. <laughs> before I said that remember when before I said that you know I was discovering a lot of things about myself well what I mean by that is that you know sometimes we tend to rely on other people to do stuff like myself I hate with a passion to go out by myself and do things I just hate being alone I think it's boring but I've come down to the conclusion and say, you know, it, it's, it, it's normal as human beings that yet we do tend to rely on people because it's always good to have a company, you know, going out there is, is pretty much boring. But, you know, doing things, it is pretty windy outside. So if you, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Being by yourself shouldn't be the reason that stops you from doing what you want to do. That's what I did. I just went ahead and went out by myself and it feels pretty good. So try it from now on, make that a priority. Don't let that stop you from going out there and experience the world. green because one of the guys is taking over his territory what I'm talking about what I'm talking about it's being able to leave your comfort zone and going out there and experience life it does not matter if you're by yourself being by yourself shouldn't stop you from doing what you really want to do if you have a goal if you have a dream get up go out there and make it happen I was just uh, on Twitter and I was reading through uh, my timeline and I stumbled upon um, this video of this family on a Delta flight when they were traveling where they were traveling home they were asked to deplane for no reason they have but an extra seat so that their kid can sit in the car seat. Even with them paying for that extra seat, they were told that they need to deplane. Otherwise, both of them, including their kids, were gonna go to jail. It is crazy to know that we're not even safe 
traveling wherever we're going. We're scared of driving our own cars. We're scared of being in our house. We're scared of this stupid government. We're scared of the people who are who are in charge of the White House. We, what's going on? We we don't have to live our lives in fear. What is going on now? Now we have to worry about air, airlines kicking us out. Now we have to worry about flight attendants. Punching us in our face. Now we have to worry about cops and security dragging out, dragging us out of a plane. When we paid for those seats. Just because you make the mistake of overbooking those flights. So it's your fault, but yet we do pay for that. Thank God I have not gone through... An experience like that, I don't know what I would do in such a horrible state and, and, and moment. I don't know how I would react. But it hurts me so bad. It just breaks my heart when there's child, when there are kids involved in this. Like this family I just saw in this video on Twitter. It is crazy that now there's so much stuff we have to worry about. There's so much stuff that we are unsafe about. And now we have to worry about getting on a plane and getting either punched, kicked, spit, or removed from a plane seat that we paid. Or even worse, dragged out. Like if we were just nothing, we're just a piece of paper. It's crazy. It's heartbreaking. Oh. I hate when this happened. I got home, I took a shower, I got my laptop, I started working, editing on today's vlog, this vlog they're watching right now. And for some reason, the footage, when I was importing the vlog, it gave me an error message. So the last footage that I add on into the vlog are gone. This is like the third time this happened. And it just gets me so mad. But anyways, I'm not gonna allow that to ruin my night. So I'm gonna cap today's vlog here. Do good, be good, love life, live life. Stretch a hand to those who might be in need because karma, my friend, is a bitch. You better believe that. Keep your feet on the ground. Stay humble. See you guys tomorrow. Adios.